it happens. The moment that everybody has been waiting for since about May. Advanced voice mode is shipping to virtually all paid users with a ChatGPT Plus or Teams plan. Now there's so many details to talk about and so many questions to be answered. Like what's new? How can I get access? And most of all, what can I use this for? Well, in today's video, I'll be answering all that plus giving you a bunch of presets that you can put right into advanced voice mode and get super unique capabilities out of it that are guaranteed to surprise you with what is actually possible with this. Because let me tell you, ever since we had the original video go viral about the initial announcement of this feature, we have been hard at work with developing, crafting and testing various use cases for this. And in this video, I get to finally show you what we have been cooking up behind the scenes. But first things first, what's new and how can you get your hands on this? Well, this is essentially advanced version of the voice feature that you might already know from the ChatGPT interface. Everybody had the ability to use the microphone to input their voice as text into ChatGPT and even have a little conversation. But this is the advanced, improved version of it. What about it is improved? Well, now it can change the intonation and the motion of the voice. It changes its cadence. It has lower latency, making it snappier. You can interrupt it. And all of this can be summarized in two words. It's more human and therefore it's way easier for anyone to interact with this rather than having to manually prompt because writing precisely is a skill that most people need to learn, whereas talking Talking is something all of us have been practicing pretty much every day since the beginning of our lives. And this public release, the voice assistant also got a brand new look so you can clearly identify it. It's not just this black circle on the white background that pulls this a little bit when you talk to it. It's this colorful interface and that is what advanced voice mode looks like from here on out. It comes with five brand new voices, one of them having this wonderful British accent. Hi, glad to meet you. I think we're going to do great work together. Where should we start? It even works with your custom instructions, which are extensively covered on this channel. Now, let's talk about how you can gain access to this and why you would even want it and what kind of use cases exist for this. That is the big question here. And as I mentioned, we've been working for months to answer that as thoroughly as we can. More on that in a second, but to get access to the advanced voice mode inside of ChatGPT, you need either a Plus subscription or a ChatGPT team subscriptions. These are two of the four paid plans, I suppose enterprise and education is going to come later on and all free users are out of luck on this one. They finally gave people a reason to subscribe to ChatGPT. Advanced voice mode is only available on those plans. Now there's two little caveats to this. First of all, it's rolling out over the course of the week. So today it's Tuesday, September 24th. Sam Altman tweeted that by Sunday, every single user on a Plus and Teams plan will have this inside of their application. Simply update it and check. You should get a notification and get this new colorful interface. The second and the more annoying caveat to all of my European brothers and sisters out there, this is not rolling out in the EU, UK, Switzerland, Iceland, Norway, and Liechtenstein for now. Usually it takes a bit of time and we get all the features eventually, just like with memory or others, but it will take a little longer. All right, so now let's talk about my favorite topic on this channel, how to use this. But First, let's address the elephant in the room, which is your, how can you even tell us how to use this? This just released. You're sitting in the EU. You probably don't even have access yet. And I would say, yes, you are right. But you have to consider that while this advanced voice feature is a brand new thing inside of ChatGPT, the ability to use voice or the model behind it, GPT-40, is not new at all. We had access all along. Plus, there are some other voice AIs that came out over the past few months that had things like this low latency, the adjusted cadence, even emotional awareness. And after the success of our initial video, I figured that pointing all of our resources at this one thing over the next month at figuring out how to use the advanced voice mode once it releases would be the best investment of our time and efforts. And we've been working tirelessly every single day. We've been pushing to research and test the best use cases for this feature, because I believe this is so powerful. This is so much more intuitive than typing with a chatbot. So we scoured the internet, tested on our own what works with the voice feature, which prompts we really liked, which prompts other people really liked, and what worked inside of some of these other tools and chat GPT. And what we came up with actually goes way beyond the launch videos of OpenAI. Because for example, in the video that they uploaded today, they pointed out that it's really good at a few things. It's really good at pretending to be a certain character. It's really good at simulating interviews and other scenarios. Well, let me tell you that just scratches the surface because it's an incredible live translator, as 
we saw in the original demo videos back in May. As we also saw in the original video, it's an amazing tutor, although this would require this extra vision feature, either seeing your screen or using your phone's camera, which we don't have yet. But even beyond the examples that OpenAI brought up, there are so many specific prompts that work super well with this. One of these would be preparing for all types of scenarios, not just for interviews. You can use it to put yourself into situations that you might encounter in the future and use it as a trainer for virtually any conversation that you might encounter in the professional world or my personal favorite, and this is something they didn't point out at all, this is probably the world's best way to brainstorm new ideas. You can set up ChatGPT to be your brainstorming buddy, to use critical thinking techniques, or to use various techniques to get the most out of the ideas you already have. You might know that ChatGPT is incredible at brainstorming, but with the voice assistant, this is my personal favorite feature, just setting it up as a preset and using it as a brainstorming buddy. Now, let me show you some of these prompts that we prepared. I'll include everything mentioned in the video in the description below. So you you can just copy paste it into ChatGPT, see for yourself. And then you might have already guessed it. We prepared a massive product, including 33,000 advanced voice prompts that can help you rediscover your very own work because we categorize them by 1,600 professions, giving you the ability to boost your productivity and bring a little joy to your work in ways that were unimaginable just a few months ago. So let's get into it. Consider this a peek at the full product. Again, all of these presets will be in the description below for you to easily copy paste and test for yourself. So let me just start by going into the graphic designer, which is one of the selected favorites here. There's a total of 1,600 different professions. So to manage overwhelmed, we picked some of our team favorites. And let's just have a look at this one. Explain design choices to client. So in this scenario, you would be role playing the client and you let the advanced voice mode be the designer. And you could go ahead and question certain design choices simulating a real world scenario and ChatGPT would respond professionally and persuasively. Now, if you paid close attention to the channel and our educational content, you will see that some of the keywords and some of the techniques we used all went into these prompts. Everything we know has been applied here. So these are as useful and as user friendly as possible. So the way this would work, I would simply copy paste this preset into ChatGPT like so. And then as I send it, I would enable the voice mode, which I don't have at this point. As soon as I do, I will shoot new videos showing live demos of this to engage with it. But as you can see, this prompt sets it up in a way where ChatGPT is actually the designer, the profession that this is set up for, and I am the client. We did it this way because we found it really useful to actually bring up the criticism yourself for you to simulate the client. And then ChatGPT gives you the responses to inspire you on what you can do. And then if you're in the middle of the conversation, you can always say, now let's switch roles. And as soon as you do that, you're the graphic designer that has to go on defense against a client that noticed he used a lot of white space in the layout. Wouldn't it be better to fill the space with more content or images? It feels a bit empty to me. As you can see, I didn't give it any extra context here. So it's just making something up. It's hallucinating. But if I actually start as the client and give a little bit of context of what actually annoys me in the project as a graphic designer would commonly encounter in their work life, then I can go ahead and switch roles with it. And then all of a sudden I can be responding, chat GPT set up with the context and I'm good to go. I can practice. Now, as you can see, this is just one of many examples. I'll put this into the description. You can play around with these yourself, but here is a brainstorming one that again, I personally love so much. So this is brainstorming design concept for a client brief. I'll describe a client brief for a new project, respond as a graphic designer, suggesting creative concepts that align with the brief's objectives and the client's brand identities. So again, we start by talking about the project a little bit so it actually understands, and then we can easily switch roles and practice if we want to use it like that. Now, I'll show you a few more because, for example, the luxury real estate agent is one of my personal favorite ones. There's some really fun role plays here because the luxury real estate kind of implies you're going to meet eccentric individuals and you can practice here. For example, with this practice handling difficult client personalities, you can say, I'll play the role of a difficult high net worth client with unrealistic demands. Respond as the luxury real estate agent, demonstrating how to handle the situation professionally while maintaining the client relationship. So again, I would begin with something like, all right, I really like the beach house, but I would like it at a 20% reduced price. And before I even consider buying it, they have to repair the entire roof. Can we close by tomorrow? And all right, and there you go. You have an answer. If you have voice assistant, you get this in the new tone, right? Oh, no, no. He wants a 30% price reduction and he wants the developer to add a custom infinity pool and he wants to close in three days. And I could go ahead and use voice to practice for a scenario like this. Like, I don't know about you, but 
but I think this is literally game changing for any profession here. You can see there's many different presets with the language teacher. You could be building skills with the speech writer. You can unlock a brand new workflow on how to actually write your speeches or how to service clients that want speeches written, which again, you could switch roles and you could be the client who wants a speech written and the speech writer helps you. This is just a brand new way to use AI and a way more intuitive one. I know that amongst our community, the voice feature has been actually very popular already in the old version. Matter of fact, I use it regularly to brain dump all different types of information into it. And then I prompt on top of that. But now that it's even more fluent, all of these training use cases where it literally feels like a human, you don't have to sit there for a second or two before it generates its response and gives you the answer. No, it's more human. And all of these use cases are things that just weren't as feasible before. And our whole point with making this many use cases is that everybody will be able to find something that works for them here with a search function to find exactly the profession that suits your needs or one that you might want to explore or role play for. And 20 prompts for each profession. I believe that this is the ultimate way to get the most out of this revolutionary feature that a lot of you will have access to today. And in case you're not quite sure if this is really for you, well, luckily we offer a 14 days, no question asks, money back guaranteed on this product and a bunch of the prompts for free in the description for you to try so that you too can rediscover what your work really means in a world where advanced voice AIs are a thing now. For more details, you can check out the AI Advantage shop, first link in the description. And as we also include 365 days of updates to this product, we'll keep watch for the additional features like the screen recording or the camera usage on your phone with the advanced voice feature. As soon as that comes, we'll make new videos, update the product, give you more presets for free because that's what we do here at the AI Advantage. I hope this was valuable to you and see you soon on the channel where we're going to be taking a closer look at how this advanced voice mode behaves in practice.